Dear Carrie, hello, good morning. Firstly, let me say happy December. This is my first Dear Carrie in December. Um, I obviously, I missed last week's. I apologise about that. Can't remember why. And also, if you haven't guessed by now, it's like the 5th of December and we're not doing Vlogmas. We actually, we thought we were, we nearly did on the day before the 1st of December, which is the 30th of November, obviously. Dougie's birthday. Happy birthday, Dougie. Um, we kind of had a last minute thing. We were like, yes, we should do it. We even made an intro. Look like this. Buzz, hey! Buzz, can you say Merry Christmas? Good boy! Um, we're not doing Vlogmas, is what I'm saying. No, we're not. We tried. We almost did, and then we thought, G has, to, how many words have we got left? 25,000 words. G has to write 25,000 words, at least, of her book, um, which she needs to get done by Christmas. At the same time, she's filming the rain and being, brewing another human and looking after that human, and so we, we can't do Vlogmas this year. So I apologise. Um, anyway, right, I'm, uh, I'm on my way, I'm about to be on my way to Manchester. I'm filming uh, a TV show called Bedtime Stories for CBeebies. Um, a little while ago you may have seen James McAvoy uh, read uh, the book that me and Doug wrote, The Dinosaur That Pooped a Planet, um, which was great. Uh, and we watch that show uh, all the time, it's a really good show, so uh, I'm really pleased that they asked me to do it. So I've got a load of books here, I'm gonna, about to go and get the train up to Manchester, I have a load of books that I am going to read for some kids. I'm actually looking forward to this. I've got Ant-Man downloaded for the journey. I've got Christmas songs on my iPod. I've got stuff to do to get on. I've got emails to respond to. I'm gonna have a productive train journey. Probably starting with Ant-Man. Right, let's go to Manchester and read some books. Woo! That's my wife and son playing Sega Mega Drive. Right, I'm going. Mama. <laughs> Just put my garden and took the door off. Hi, so I made it to Manchester, now at the BBC, in my own dressing room. They've even treated me to a plate of Maryland cookies. I feel very spoiled. I also have some, some cotton buds, some cleansing wipes, and a CBBS flannel. Thanks, BBC. Anyway, I've got about half an hour now, um, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to have a practice read through of all the uh, all the books that I'm reading today. So um, I need to get to work. Actually, I should have probably practiced these. I read them a few times on the train on the way up, but. I watched Ant-Man instead, which is really good. So, I should practice now. There's something underneath the cherry tree in our garden. There is a little... I feel really ultra organized. I have to, I have to bring like five different outfits because we're doing five books, so different shirt for each book. So it looks like it's all filmed on different days and that I don't just have one shirt, which probably isn't that far from the truth. But anyway, I managed to find five different shirts. And I bought them all up in my suit case, my suit carrier case, and I hung them all up. I never unpack when I go anywhere, like when I go on holiday or on tour or anything. So I feel very organised. Uncharacteristically organised. Quite messy, really. Oh, look, there's me. Here's a little fact for you. Oh, look, there's, there's me again. When um, McFly were going through that stage where we were all wearing matching sh shoots, all wearing matching shoots where we all wore matching suits through the Love Is Easy stuff. Um, we were wearing a lot of different suits and having to travel around wearing suits the whole time and they would always get creased and messy and would always end up looking a bit scruffy. So I bought all the guys one of these nice, well this one's just been chopped on the floor now, but I bought the guys for Christmas that year. I got them all a proper suit carrying suit. I guess it's called a suitcase, which is weird because it's not like the suitcase that you think when you Think of a suitcase. This is actually four suits, so you can hang it all up. That was a thoughtful Christmas present that year. Got myself one as well. By the way, I've discovered the coolest thing about my Apple Watch. is that I can have it display a countdown to Christmas. There is 19 days and 10 hours to go.
Hello, I'm Tom and I'll be reading a bedtime story on CBeebies tonight just for you. Don't miss it, I'll see you later. Right, that's it, I'm done, day is finished. Um, I'm on my way back home. It was really good fun. Um, so I, I will let you know when uh, when it's gonna be on. Uh, thanks very much, Bedtime Stories, for having me um, up in very windy Manchester. Um, we're now gonna be battling some football traffic, I, I hear, to uh, get to the station and get home because we have the Christmas party tomorrow, so Carrie, I will see you tomorrow at the Christmas party. Um, when I get back tonight, I'm gonna be baking bread, um, some festive bread, is, that's my plan, anyway. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. You've been you, I've been this person. See you next time, bye!